Hello everyone, I'm going to present JBrowse2, a modular genome browser with views of synteny and structural variation. So what's the problem? Well, classical genome browsers can only show a single chromosome from a single organism on the screen at a time. But we want to compare multiple species, for example, create synteny views, or show whole genome overviews to show large scale structural variation, or show discontiguous regions from multiple chromosomes to show gene fusions, for example. So I'm gonna present an overview of JBrows2 with a focus on structural variant features to begin with. So JBrows2 still has a classic genome browser interface available. You can see here that we're looking at thousand genomes data showing a deletion structural variant from a trio with a mother, child, and father. And new in JBrowse2 are these clipping indicators that are shown in blue or insertion indicators in purple, which can be helpful for identifying precise boundaries of structural variants. We can also in JBrowse2 show whole genome overviews. This example shows a multi-quantitative track, which has tumor and normal whole genome sequencing data showing that the blue, the tumor sequencing, has amplifications and deletions throughout the genome. You can also see another multi-quantitative track example in the bottom right showing ENCODE data with different groups in different colors. We also have a special feature in JBrowse2 that we call the SV inspector. And this shows a table of structural variants along with a circular home, whole genome overview. And in this example, it's connecting chromosome 1 and chromosome 5. And when you click on this, it brings up a detail view that can let you show the read evidence that connects those two points. Those are shown by the black curvy lines. We also have a special feature for alignments tracks called the read verse reference view. So these are high fi reads and the purple indicator shows a 1.6 KB insertion from the high fi reads. And we can right click any one of those reads and create a, a read verse reference view which shows these inserted bases here. And I can actually click and drag and get the sequence of those inserted bases and for example blast it which gives me a match. Now I'll focus on some of the synteny and comparative genomics features. So one of the big features of JBrowse2 is our ability to load data from multiple organisms in a single instance. In this example, I'm going to show grape versus peach. We have a easy to use dot plot view launcher, for example, where you can select grape and peach and then select the track that you want to use to show the comparison. We call them synteny tracks. So I, I load some MC scan data and on the y-axis we have grape, on the x-axis we have peach, and there's this large inversion with some smaller uh, features inside of it. I can click and drag to select this region and it will launch a linear synteny view and we can see that same large inversion here with this hourglass shape. But importantly, you can flip this entire view and that will give you the inversion kind of straightened out. And then you can see now that there's these smaller sub-inversions inside it. This is just an example of the type of workflow that people analyzing different genomes may want to work with. One of the important questions uh, that we often get are what types of synteny data can JBrowse2 view? Well, we have two sort of different classes. There are whole genome alignments, such as Minimap, Mummer, UCSC chain files, etc. And this can give you per base detail about what is going on. Um, this screenshot shows an inversion with deletions and insertions throughout that. And there are also so-called marker-based alignments, and these you might think of as uh, all versus all blast of the proteins or MC scan type data. And these are also very useful 
um, in, in especially more distantly related organisms. Just for a little technical uh, aside, I would like to cover the, the config file syntax and show how Synteny tracks look. So in our config file, we have multiple assemblies. So we have, for example, HG19 and HG38, each with their own two-bit file. We have a gene track for HG19. We have a gene track for HG38. And then we have the Synteny track. And we say that it belongs to multiple assemblies using this array of assembly names here. And then the adapter will also indicate which assembly was the query and which was the target, which is sometimes important for um, identifying which columns of the data file correspond with which assembly. Note that we have an easier to use CLI than hand editing that has a simple command syntax so you can load it such as this. I just wanted to especially highlight that the open source community has been essential to our growth and that JBrowse 2 is almost five years old. We have 8,700 commits, almost 4,000 issues and pull requests combined, We've got 26 code contributors, but many others who have made issues and bug reports for us. And we also have our NPM libraries who many people have installed and used. We've also have a plugin developer community that's actively evolving and making new things. And we have renewed updates for our JBrowse R and JBrowse Jupyter packages for use in computational notebooks. So we're meeting the analysts where they're working future directions. We want to keep improving docs and ease of use. I'm really trying to push on multi-way Synteny visualization. Currently it's very pairwise. We're working on more outreach. I'd love to hear if you're trying to set it up at your model organism database. And we're doing things like Apollo integration and that's an ongoing project with the whole other team involved. And your ideas are always welcome. So with that, this is the JBrowse 2 team. Um, I'm Colin Deesh. And this is everyone involved. We have a great collaboration with Ontario Institute for Cancer Research. And check out our GitHub repo and also our chat, um, which you'll find on our website. Thanks very much.